I'm Kristen Apple from Apple Puncture and I wanted to tell you about an herbal formula that I use very often in my practice called Zibai Di Huang Wan. We use this for something called yin deficiency, um, specifically kidney yin deficiency with um, basically a relative deficiency fire. So, and what do I mean by that? I will explain. Um, from a Western perspective, we, I use it like very often for perimenopause and menopausal symptoms, such as uh, hot flashes, insomnia, night sweats, anxiety, and dryness. Um, so when we're talking about yin deficiency, we're talking about yin and yang. And I won't spend a lot of time on this topic, could go on for a long, long time on this topic. But uh, yin is the resting, cooling, quiet, um, moistening side of the yin and yang. Um, you know, we think of uh, the image of a mountain and the yin is the valley or the uh, concave bowl-like uh, side of things. And then the yang is the energizing, bright, active, warming, uh, sunny side, peak side of the mountain. Um, sometimes we would say that the yin is the feminine aspect and the um, yang is the masculine. Though we contain both within ourselves, all of us have both yin and yang in relative motion and ax um, in relative uh, balance at all times. So when, when women start to approach uh, menopause, they start to lose their feminine hormones, their female hormones, I should say, uh, estrogen, progesterone. And these hormones uh, are, you know, usually they keep us in balance while they're always in motion. And yeah, we feel a lot of uh, <laughs> not always feeling balanced as women. But, um, you know, when we're starting to approach menopause and perimenopause, the yin, those uh, female hormones start to become depleted. They start to go away. And then we have a relative excess of yang. So it's not, it's not that there is an, a true excess, there's just a relative excess now that we have a, uh, you know, a, a deficiency of yin. And when we have a relative excess of yang, we have symptoms such as, uh, you know, those yang kind of symptoms. We have uh, anxiety, we have extra heat in the body, and inflammation because we don't have the yin that we normally would have to balance it out. So when this happens, acu you know, acupuncture can really help. So that's one of the main treatments we would use. Also, we, you know, we talk about lifestyle changes um, and dietary you know, tr nutritional uh, changes. And then we also may use her as herbs to help rebalance the body and help that along. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate.